Welcome back to The Health Engineer Show. I'm Clint Fuqua, The Health Engineer, and imagine a stadium full of people, okay? Huge stadium, tons of people up, cheering, yelling, and they're watching a video game. Yes, they're watching a video game. Esports. I'm sure you've heard of it. Maybe you have. There's some big names involved in it. Okay, Marshawn Lynch, in fact, is sponsoring a team for this thing. It's huge overseas and it's coming here to the U.S. And, well, there's actually a lot of good health implications on this. That's right. Playing video games can be healthy uh, for multiple reasons, both for the socialization aspect, the mental focus aspect, and just getting up and moving your bike. Because if you haven't seen some of the games today, well, they're highly well, you're moving all the time. You're slashing stuff, you're moving around, you're bowling, you're swinging bats, all that stuff. So, today we're going to talk about some esports stuff with my buddy Adam Auerbach with uh, Fitness Visio. We're also going to discuss well, since you're at home and you've been at home, you probably want to start working out and you want one of those home gym things too, right? So, we're going to discuss home gyms, the reality of home gyms, what it takes to set one of those up, and also for the companies out there, maybe you want to get people back in, you want to take care of their health. Well, how do you do that from a corporate wellness standpoint with your existing gym, how to build it out properly, and maybe even extend some of that into the homes of the people that work for you because, well, they're stuck there and you want them to stay healthy. Coming back, we're going to talk about how to stay fit at home and at work and, well, while you're sitting around doing nothing, playing games. Come on back to Health Engineer Show. Clint Fuquay is the health engineer, dishing up healthcare reform through personal responsibility in the areas of nutrition, discipline, and fitness. Clint cuts through misunderstood health theory with over 35 years of practical results. Start taking control of your health today with the health engineer. Here's your host, Clint Fuquay. All right, we're back, Health Engineer Show. I'm Clint Fuqua, the Health Engineer, right here on the OBBM Network. And today, we're gonna to be talking about, well, health and fitness and stuff at home and at, maybe at work, maybe even both, because you're working at home and everything else. So, but people are out there getting gyms. You're, maybe your gym is shut down, you can't go to it. Maybe you got tired of it going to it. Whatever's going on, and you decided, hey, I'm gonna build my own, right? Well, I've got my man here, Adam Aberbach, uh, which we've done a lot of stuff together in the past uh, for, for quite a while. It's, it's been many, many years we've known each other yes, sir. Uh, through, this, through this industry. So um, let's talk a little bit about, we're going to start off with some home gym stuff because there's a lot of stuff people just don't consider when it comes to home gyms, what needs to go into it, uh, whether you're going to place it in your house, upstairs, downstairs, in the room, in the garage, build something for it, you know, all that stuff. So. Let's start off just with uh, for everybody that's going to be at their at their home, at their home office now, all right? Because everybody's working from home. Uh, you know, what what are some some initial things people need to start considering for a home gym? Uh, whether it's the well, I'm, I'm going to let you take them through this on on the price and space and all that other stuff. Sure. Well, thanks again for having me on the show. Um, when it comes to you know, what you've been doing versus what you're doing now. I mean, there's been a huge drop in, in the motivation factor for those who are leaving the gym that can't get in them like you mentioned. Um, but I, the number, you know, first thing you'd want to do is make sure you've got a good space to actually yeah. do this in. I mean, you got to take in the factors of the weather, whether, you know, if you're in Texas like you are and it's, you know, 100 degrees outside, do you want to be in the heat of your garage when you're doing that? And, and again, that's yeah. part of the motivation factor of, you know, do I want to go out into the garage today? So, you know, yeah. finding the physical space first. Um, and then as far as equipment goes and what you need, um, really, th there's so many different products you can get. But uh, start simple if, if that's what you're looking to afford right now. And, you know, there's a lot of pieces of equipment that do a ton of different functionality. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And like right now, so Peloton, Peloton's the biggie, right? Sure. So. Uh, you got the advent of that. You got all the, not just like the home, the home workout market has exploded because of everything that's happened, right? So, not only do you have Peloton, you got multiple other companies, and they all have all the built-in functions, features. They've got the, the the multi-million dollar setups for the the trainers that you're training with at home and everything else. So, um, let's let's look at uh, some. Well, let's talk about spacing issues at your house, sure. right? So, should you just get a bike? Should you get some other stuff? 
what you, you put on the walls. There, I, I love Seinfeld. I'm a huge Seinfeld fan. So there, there's a there's one episode where they're playing pool in a house. I uh, choose. I think yeah, I think George's dad gets gets a pool table, and they're trying they're trying to play pool on this pool table. They got the short sticks and they're in a room, and they keep on like hit, hitting those, hitting the sides of the walls and everything else. So a lot of people you they don't realize how small a room is until they start putting stuff in it. Sure. Uh, or it, even just the build quality of the room, right? You don't know where the studs are at. You don't know where stuff is at overhead. So what are, what are those, some of those factors when they start thinking, man, I'm, I'm going to set up a boxing gym in my, in my place. Well, okay, so what do, what do you need to factor in on, on that versus, okay, I'm just going to ride a bike or I'm going to set up a bench and a squat rack and everything else? Yeah, so again, back to the functionality side, the Peloton, like you said, it is, it's, a, you know, it's an amazing product. People absolutely love their Pelotons. Um, the only, you know, and what they've started doing, if you haven't seen it, is they've moved not just from that one modality of training, which is cycling. Yeah. Um, they're now working into the space of, um, you know, using dumbbells and functional training and HIT training in order to really get that workout because they've realized that it does go beyond just the yeah. um, bike itself. Um, so, you know, when it comes to things to look out for, um, you know, space really uh, can be outside. It doesn't have to be confined to the four walls that you're in. Um, but again, lots of um, things to look for are obviously, you know, um, having a comfortable space. Mm -hmm. uh, one of the interesting things that I found too, or lately is that um, sound and audio in your space is a huge motivator when it comes yeah. to working out. And, you know, you go into a gym and it could be super loud or or it might be a little quieter. You hear the background music and you either love or hate the music, right? Most people don't really love the music in the gym due to regulations. It's but It's the number one complaint. It, every it, gym, it, every gym is number one complaint. It, it, I don't, can you change the music that's here? That's right. So having something like that is more important than sometimes the equipment that's actually in the space yeah. itself. So, but again, um, as far as looking for things to get, I mean, really a bench, you know, some dumbbells, nothing too fancy, nothing too high. Um, there are um, suspension trainer pieces such mm -hmm. as TRX. Um, there's another one called MyoCore that's done a fantastic job that are, that are bringing those products to the home now and making it very, very convenient yeah. to work out at home. Yeah, and ton tons of bands and everything else. I mean, it's that, seriously, when, if you go out there and you start looking at all the products, you're going to get, it's, it's like taking a fire hose and just turning it on. Just, you, you, it'll it'll blow you away, away with all the options. Which it's it's good to have somebody that can help essentially sit you down and say, "Look, what do you really want to do? What do you want to achieve with this thing? Um, where do you want to put it? What do you have in your house? Uh, you know, upstairs, downstairs. I know and lo load issues is a big thing. So sure. you get. I've I've had a client uh, in the past. You know, he wanted to put in a home gym like above his garage. It's like, okay, so you got your cars down here right how much are those worth sure. and you want to put what on top of them and do you know how much load you can put in that spacing above your cars yeah it's obviously something to consider too and yeah. the noise and the vibration and everything that goes on i mean some treadmills get as heavy as you know 500 pounds pretty much so oh, you yeah. do that and then you've got the weight of yourself on there and you're just pounding on that for an hour that can, that can you know definitely um cause some problems um but to what you said too, um, you know, being at the gym, knowing what to do with everything that's happened in the last year, unfortunately, the industry has changed a lot. In fact, yeah. I think we're up to about 18% of permanent, you know, fitness club closures now, Yes, um, which is tremendous hit to the industry. Um, but yeah. New York is up to like 50%. It's, it, it's devastating. Yeah. Uh, the loss of jobs for individuals in the industry has just been astronomical. Um, so to what you said before, the best advice is figuring out what your motivation is, what you're wanting to do, and then talk to a professional. Um, there's a huge push right now or a huge, you know, um, trend towards what's being called the hybridization of gyms to where you still have your gym membership, mm -hmm. but the convenience of having it at home is so important as well. So, and with technology as well, there's companies out there such as um, Trainerize, Intellivideo is another one, yep. where you're able to now take that gym experience and the trainers that you have and really use that at home. 
So yeah. in a customized way with the trainer that you know at the gym and get both the best of both worlds. Oh yeah, I'm, we're actually planning on, on that with, uh, with my, my new location that's opening up right now. So uh, that was part of our plan of that is having that interface both here, here live and, and virtually with, with our clientele. Um, so whenever we come back, because we're about to go to a little commercial break, uh, everybody stick around. We're gonna come back. We're gonna talk about uh, the corporate side of things for a little bit. And then some really cool stuff with, uh, well, esports of all things and the health uh, of, of mental health and physical health behind the, the esports craze because you're getting into that. So stick around. We're going to go to a little commercial break for our sponsors. We'll be right back. The Gym, 801 South Greenville Avenue in Allen, Texas, offers 24 7 access for people who know life isn't just 8 to 5. Free weights, cardio equipment, nutrition bar, group boxing classes, amateur boxing, and personal training. It all starts with you making one good decision. Call 214-504-1400 and get to the gym on your schedule. The Gym, where fit happens. We are being censored. America's news outlets no longer provide the truth. 90% 90% of news outlets in the United States are controlled by six corporations. They're not out to tell you the truth of what's happening. They're out to tell you the picture of the world that they represent. The mission of the Epic Times is to chase the truth, to ground all statements and facts, and prevent people from being misled. The Epic Times is independent. We're not controlled by any special interests, and we never will be. The Epic Times is a non-partisan media. That means we don't stand for any political party. This is a battle. A battle between truth and deceit. A battle between forces that would ensnare this country in ignorance and between a media that wants to present you with the truth. Subscribe today and join the Americans who are seeking truth and tradition. We'd love to have you on board. All right, we're back, Health Engineer Show. Clint Fuquay here, and we're going to talk about uh, well, we're going to get back into into some of the corporate stuff and talk about some corporate wellness a little bit because that's that's a wild industry right now uh, for corporate wellness because you got everybody's back at home a little bit, right? Uh, companies are trying to figure out how to bring their people back in. Some of the corporate wellness strategies and some of that is having a gym there, and what do they do for like their gym space? How do they keep it clean? What do they do? Or if you want to build a gym space out, maybe uh, for for your people. Uh, they're going to be in and out and everything else. What? Uh, let's talk about some considerations on the corporate side uh, from that standpoint. Which is, do they provide for somebody to to like build out their own home gym at home uh, ver- versus building some out at you know at, at the company headquarters that is going to bring people back in eventually? Sure. So the the corporate space definitely has changed, obviously oh, yeah. due to COVID. Um, some actually still, they're about open up now, but they've been closed down for quite a long oh, yeah. time. And, and of course, uh, health and cleanliness is a huge factor involved. A lot of it is more whole building because um, you wouldn't necessarily treat a gym too much different than any of the common spaces in a you know building or, or mm-hmm. office. Um, however, of course, you know sanitation wipes. You know there are there is some electrostatic type sprays and all that that are out there as well. Um, but we did do a few um, redesigns, so to speak, in terms yeah. of you know spacing equipment out a little bit more, and uh, you know offering again functionality and technology that's different than what's been in before for you know a, a much um, more spread out use, so to speak. Yeah, yeah, and well, I know I know for some companies some of that is looking at you know should they should they do the corporate wellness route and do virtual. Like, sure. Uh, how, how do they how do they get into that space of it if if they wanted to venture into that? Um, where they've you know you got people that can come come to work and work out and you get the the wellness space there. They've got their home. How how do they how can they get that interface going for their people? Well, there there is a lot of uh, are a lot of new programs out there that offer um, connected technologies through um, apps and, and other software in order to help. Um, at least offer some sort of guidance when it comes to health in general. And it, the truth of the matter is, it's not just staying in shape fitness-wise. It's it, there's a lot of mental, oh, yeah. um, you know, fitness that we need to look at as well. Um, so that that is something else that's and that's the like you said, bringing people back to the gym or back to the corporate space. What 
we fail to sometimes realize is, is that the gym isn't only just for getting in shape and, and looking good, but it's also a place to socialize. It's a place where mm-hmm. you get to hang out with people or, or not just hang out, but you know, you have motivation there. You, you create good relationships there. I know probably 80% of my relationships are through the gym now because um, mm-hmm. of what we do for a living. Um, so yeah, I mean, there's more to it than just, you know, staying at home as yeah. well. Well, you get that, you get the whole 80, 80, 20 rule. And most people go to the gym because they got to have that social function there. And that's why a lot of home gyms fail. I hate to say it, but you know, there, there's a lot of really, really expensive, uh, like, you know, coat hangers sitting sure. in most people's uh, houses. How, do you, how much do you pay for that coat hanger? Oh, I don't know, like five grand. Right. <laughs> so, um, but, uh, because they've got to get back into, they need that social piece of it right they got to have the, the the socialization they got the people around they can't just be in a in a box working out by themselves because most people just don't have the ability to do that uh from a from a mental side i mean it'll, it'll drive some people crazy unless you're like me and i like having nobody in my gym right i go to the gym so nobody's there it's ridiculous um but uh so you got that piece of which for at work is gonna be huge for socialization, getting people back in and integrated back into into a workspace. Sure, and you know, as people are working from home, I and mean, there's other things to consider um, when we look at, you know, uh, the work life balance and all that. But even um, young professionals now, if you don't even own a home and you're in the multifamily space, for example, um, you know, there's it's been on hold in a lot of the vertical yeah. markets, but now that things are opening up again, it's time to upgrade and, and you know, bring new, you know, ideas or, or just new refreshed fitness to those facilities and all. So, you know, having a nice gym at your apartment is is another mm-hmm. big thing that's starting to, you know, build again yeah. very much yeah. so. Which they, they've built out a lot. I know the place where I live, they did a full renovation. It's beautiful in there, what they do with it. Of course, they don't shut down for six months. It's true. Looking in, can I come in? Can I? Um, and, you know, I, I couldn't I couldn't train people there anymore, which I was doing that for quite a while too. So, um, but yeah, that from that standpoint, there, there's the movement, there's the spacing, there's the cleanliness aspects of it that everybody has to consider. I know you, that's your main your main job with uh, with Fitness Visio is, is consulting and figuring out how do you make this space manageable uh, for the people that are in there, for the equipment for that space as well. Sure, yeah, because it, it, it is more than just equipment thrown yeah. in a place. If you asked people, you know, 30 years ago about putting a gym in their corporate office or in an apartment, they'd probably look at you and say, I just don't know if that's a good idea. Now you cannot build a yeah. facility that does not have a gym in it today. Yeah. So. And, and not just for the write-off. No. Because <laughs> uh, that happened for a while. That happened for a little while. Just, we, we put the gym space in, we can write the head off. And it just, it, it drew cobwebs because nobody ever went in there because it was, it was like, we checked that one off. Just to yeah. check the box, yeah. yeah. So yeah. I, I believe we're going to see a huge um, uptick, even more so, in amenities. And again, not just throwing equipment in, but like doing it right. Yeah. And, and actually bringing a value to those people who are using those spaces. Yeah. And so we're let's let's jump into some stuff that you're starting to play around with, right? And so there, there's a whole other industry out there uh, in, in esports, e-gaming, and... Uh, there is a, there's a major health component there. We talked about this, and it's it's really interesting. Uh, if for anybody out there, okay, remember the arcades back in the '80s, right? What happened in the arcades? A lot of socialization, right? Uh, and you know, a lot of kids meeting everybody else and being social for once, right? And learning how to socialize with each other uh, and finding out stuff that they're good at too, because there there were gaming tournaments back then. Watch the Netflix series. They're awesome watching everything that happened back then with, with video games back in the 80s. And it's happening again now. I mean, there's a whole resurgence with, with these sports. I know you're, you're getting into that with some, some side projects, uh, speaking of like hotels and uh, corporate spaces and building out into those. But uh, let's talk a little bit about um, uh, esports from a, from a health perspective. Yeah, so, you know, esports is still a new concept to so many but it's growing so incredibly fast and and you know you talk about the home fitness market um and the home you know the the equipment side that has just grown tremendously due to covid same thing with um user subscriptions and and downloads of software for e-games because of covid and as people get into that you know you might think all right well maybe just sitting at the you know console your xbox your playstation or 
or your computer all day and, and you know, just like at work, you're sitting at your computer for a good amount of time. Um, but it turns out that the average eSport um, player um, is actually, and I don't have the exact percentages, but they're actually more fit than the mm -hmm. average American. So there is an importance to that as well. And then, you know, they're forming teams these days that are making an amazing jump from, you know, just playing at your home to actually being part of a team. And again, there's a lot of parallels to the, you know, yeah. sports world. Yeah, they, they get whole travel teams. They exactly. travel, travel around the all US, over, around the world. All over the world making, you know, if you were told, you know, you're not gonna make any money playing video games back in the 80s and whatnot. Yeah, they're making hundreds, millions oh, yeah. of dollars. Uh, I'll, I'll throw a number name out there. Look this guy up, okay, Ninja. You've got kids, you probably heard them talking about this guy named Ninja. They like to watch him play games on, you're watching this guy play games. Yeah, you're watching people play, play games on TV too, right? Get up and do something. Um, but uh, so N Ninja, highly active, sure. okay? Uh, that, that's his stage, his play name, right? Uh, but highly active, um, very involved in, in keeping himself healthy because he had to. He figured out early on, the more he works out and trains, take care of his body, the better he performs while he's sitting there you know, playing because he can stay focused and engaged for a longer period of time. Heart rate stays lower, stress levels stay lower, all that other stuff. You've got to um, stay physically fit in oh, order you, to do Yes, yeah, especially you're sitting there and you're playing some, some Call of Duty or something and your heart rate's just going like that. You're going to freak out at some point and, you know, then then all your guys die and everybody gets mad at you. Then you're more stressed out, right? So, um, uh, but for, for the kids... It's a, there's a huge piece of that which we were talking about, which is it gets them to socialize a little bit around sure. something, because they haven't had they haven't been able to do that because schools have been shut down and everything else. So this is a new way to get them to socialize and, and be around each other. Sure, you know, I mean, again, it goes past just you know playing video games. Um, you know, sitting at home by yourself can be you know a very difficult thing for a lot of people in general, young kids especially, and. Now with schools being shut down or people on that, you know, uh, you know, homeschool or, or virtual learning, um, they're not getting much interaction. Yeah. So um, what we're in the process of doing actually is piloting a few spaces, specifically in some gyms as well, to where um, there is that socialization aspect. The kids that maybe can't be on the treadmill because they're too young to go work out, but you want to have that. Um, you know, mentality of, you know, or with your folks that go to the club, you know, you don't want to go drag them to the club and have them hang out in the, you know, kids section when they're, you know, 10 years old and they've got crying babies in there. So what we're doing is we're creating those socialization spaces using esports as the, I guess, the hook in order to have the kids want to go up yeah. to the clubs and, 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 you know, interact with people yeah. and they do get the socialization. Yeah. We're, we're going to take one more break right quick and we'll be right back. We're going to talk, we're going to dive into that a little bit more uh, specifically about how it's going to help out with health and going forward from this, uh, from where we're at. Introducing IV Hookup. IV treatments have been the standard of care used for years to deliver intravenous hydration treatment to patients. Our medical director has created a safe, industry standard protocol to efficiently support your wellness through IV vitamin hydration, including options for athletic performance, mood enhancement, general wellness, and hangover recovery. IV Hookup now offers full spectrum COVID-19 testing at reasonable prices. This means we can get you and your staff tested in a quick time frame. Are you hosting a group event? We can provide a customized package for IV treatment and COVID testing as well. IV Hookup is everything you need to both stay healthy and to prove it. Go to ivyhookup.com to order yours and we'll bring it right to you. That's ivyhookup.com. Strong business has always been the clear economic indicator. Work Suites in Allen, Texas is just one of 18 locations in DFW and Houston that support your necessary transitions with full service and affordable workspaces for upgrading or downsizing your current workload. You need to be focused on growth. 
Trust the office experts and helpful staff at WorkSuisse to take care of everything else, from dedicated phone lines and internet to furnished executive and co-working spaces. The OBBM network has tripled our business on the short months we've been with WorkSuisse and encourages you to step out boldly, make the tough decisions, and get back to work your way. Your nation depends on it. The OBBM network acknowledges that this is a pivotal time in history, and it is clear the United States of America has been undermined by many of our elected officials for some time now. We want our local business audience to stand strong in the face of what we now understand and to be empowered to grow our businesses on the local level beyond the limitations that have been imposed upon us. We believe it is in our national interest to inspire our communities through strong economic development and, additionally, to hold our elected officials accountable for accurate representation of We the People. For that reason, we encourage you to go to WeStandForFreedom.com to learn about the National Write Your Congressman organization that has been the trusted communication tool for local communities for over 60 years. Learn how your representatives are voting. Understand the laws and regulations under consideration on the state and federal level before they are enacted at the county and city levels. Communicate directly with these officials and stand up for yourself, for by doing so, you will protect the communities you serve from tyrannical rule and unconstitutional reforms. The OBBM Network is the premier voice for local business, and we take that responsibility seriously. The OBBM Network has everything you need to grow and transition your business for success on popular syndicated podcast networks, Roku and other video channels, and the OBBM Network app. We work for you, local business, and we've got your back. All right, we're back. A little bonus time here on uh, on the Health Engineer TV show. So uh, we're going to talk about, uh, we're going to keep on with the eSports, and we're going to talk about some health benefits, uh, both for, for the kids and also for the elderly, because, you know, there's been a lot of, you know, they're locked in too, right? They can't do anything. Um, I know my granddad back in the past, uh, he, he would go out and he'd do the Wii bowling all the time. Like they had, they had like literal leagues set up in the retirement home for doing That's Wii right. bowling and everything else. So uh, from a health standpoint, I mean, yeah, they're video games, but still, if you're doing the right ones, they're getting you up there, they got you moving. Uh, you got the whole uh, like lightsaber slicing games now that are awesome with the VR set up and they will wear you out. Give it five minutes, you'll be fried because you're just constantly going, going. So. Let's look at uh, the health benefits of this uh, for both the social socialization and movement uh, for for both both young and old because those those are the two those are the two demographics that are getting hit the worst in this stuff right now with being just locked in locked down. Everybody else can kind of go out and move around a little bit, but those two have been they've been hurt more than anybody else in, with with all the lockdowns. I, I think one of the coolest things, like you mentioned, with um, the virtual reality too, is is from a social standpoint. I mean it's a really awesome way for kids and adults and elderly to connect when it comes to um, health and fitness. It's something that everybody can do. It's not mm -hmm. just lifting weights or going for a long run. Yeah. So it allows a real good connection there. But yeah, absolutely with you know blood circulation and, and just getting up and doing something other than sitting and watching TV for hours, there's a huge benefit in right. that. Yeah, so instead of sitting there watching golf, you can play some Wii Golf and work on that stroke while you're you know, avoiding from getting a stroke, right? So I know, hopefully somebody will laugh at that. That was a bad joke, I know. Um, but, um, but yeah, that's, that's the point. You're, you can actually get up and do something while, while you're doing nothing, right? Uh, with, with the games because there is that piece of it in there where you've got, I mean, it's eSports at some, at some degree. Uh, some degree. Sure, and, and it is evolving over time. Yeah. Um, virtual reality has changed tremendously over the past few years. It used to be a whole major setup, a very expensive thing to do. Yeah. Um, but it, I mean, the new products that are out there on the market make it very accessible and very easy to do it. And, uh, you know, I've got young kids and they ask me all the time, when can we play virtual reality? When can we? And two, you know, they're setting places up that are specific to virtual reality facilities where that's all you go and you do. So um, at places um, such as these bounce, you know, these trampoline parks oh, yeah. and all. Yeah, huge setups. Yeah, because you can only reality. bounce in a trampoline for so long until, you know, start getting a little upset stomach or anything else. Yeah, so, uh, and of course you're doing setups right now. 
Uh, right. you, you've been playing around with, with the esports concepts and everything else. So let's talk a little bit about uh, what you've been building out, uh, like some of your concepts that have, that have been out there for how, a couple of years now. Yeah. Two so years? well, really a, a big part of it just you know really kicked in. We've been planning it for a little while, but um, the multifamily side we're finding is hugely successful in that um, when when somebody's looking to find a new place to live finding not just the amenities of fitness, but also the esports a huge draw in order to get mm -hmm. um, excitement going. And again, it's the socialization side of having a place to go outside of the four walls of your apartment for fitness or for gaming. There you've got it at those places. So we found that it's still very, very new. Yeah. but it's going to grow tremendously. Oh, yeah. Especially whenever you're taking that tour and the kids go, oh, look what they've got here. And it's, okay, I guess we're moving here. Because, uh, <laughs> yeah. you know, otherwise you're going to hear about it the entire trip. Absolutely. Well, what would you like about this place? They had an esports room at this. Okay, I know where, I know where you're going to live now. Um, but yeah, it, it helps out. So for everybody out there, how, uh, how do they get a hold of you? For, for, for one, get, getting a home gym or, or a corporate wellness, a corporate facility, uh, or if they want to look at the, the e-games, e-sports e stuff for their facilities. Sure. So our fitness design consulting website is www.fitnessvisio.com. That's V-I-S-I-O.com. And then for esports, it's esportsdesigngroup.com. All right, very good. And you, I can guarantee you, you've been into one of the places that he has helped set up and design, uh, or you've seen or heard about them because they are, some of them are palatial and epically amazing. Um, I won't say which ones they are because they're not mine, but you, you've seen them, they're, they're big. It's like Jerry big, right? Um, <laughs> so thanks for coming on. Love to have you on here. We'll come Thank back. And we'll talk more about the esports and some other stuff later about equipment and, and all that. I'd love to. All right. So for everybody else out there, thank you for joining me. Clint Fuquay right here, the Health Engineer Show on the OBBM Network. Check out all the rest of our shows. You're going to love what we have for you. The Health Engineer is produced by Offbeat Business Media for the OBBM Network and made possible through the generous support of sponsors and viewers like you. For program information, call 214-714-0495. The Health Engineer, Offbeat Business Media LLC, OBBM, Network Trademarks, and all portions of this broadcast are produced for the exclusive use of the OBBM Network and affiliates, and may not be reproduced without written permission by Offbeat Business Media LLC. All inquiries are directed to call 214-714-0495.